thinking I don't know what I should do And I wish you would be right here with me My mind is filled with pictures Of when we used to dance But now I don't know where you are Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I'm sharing with you my summer 2022 home tour. If you're new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. My decorating style has evolved over the past few years and I've been on this journey to lighten up my home. I started out with deep reds and greens and golds and I have slowly transitioned into a much more lighter neutral color theme. My style is very farmhousey, cottage, vintage with touches of family photos and mementos throughout my home. So we're gonna be starting our tour here in the front hall. This space is next on our redo list. I think that your front hall should be kind of like a preview of what you'll find throughout the rest of your home. So in my foyer, I have some vintage finds and some of my favorite things. A new addition to the front hall this summer is this blanket ladder that I turned into a spot to hold some of my most favorite family photos along with my dad's old movie camera from the 50s and a chunky wooden beaded heart that I found at a local antique store. The wreaths on my powder room and laundry room doors I found in Williamsburg, Virginia. I use these wreaths all year long and I just switch out the ribbon and decor as the seasons change. For summer, I have them decorated with a big fluffy tan and white bow and wooden houses that I found at the Target dollar spot a couple years ago. This ivory cabinet is a new addition to the front hall. We bought it a couple of years ago from Wayfair. I chalk painted it a nice old white color to go along with the other cabinet here in the foyer. Above it is a mirror that I got several years ago from Hobby Lobby, the green leafy arch I made at Christmas time and liked it so much that I thought I would just keep it up throughout the year. In front of the cabinet, I have an antique preschool chair from one of the oldest parishes in our area. On top, I have seated one of the many bears that you will find in almost every room of my house. The archway on top of my tall chalk painted cabinet is from Deco Crated. The basket and the pillows there are from Target. I use a lot of wooden beads in my decorating and the ones here are from Kirkland's. The felt balls there I found on Amazon and that beautiful green wreath is from the at home store. Before we lighten things up in the house, my little cozy living room was mostly red with heavy curtains and it always seems so dark in here. We redid this room a few years ago and it has really become one of my favorite spaces because of the amount of light that comes in. Now my husband did all of the trim work around the windows, which I really love and I really don't want to cover up with curtains. So for now the windows are bare and we just have some white wooden blinds.
Some of my most favorite things in this room are vintage pieces from our families. I have my Corona typewriter here that I decorate for every season. I also have my grandmother's 1910 Sears and Roebuck sewing machine. In this room, we also have a lot of photos of family. The curio cabinet holds our parents' and grandparents' wedding photos. And over the desk are some more treasured old family pictures. As a family, I think we spend the most time in our kitchen. I cook almost every day and nothing makes me happier than having a bunch of people gathered around the kitchen table. Although my kitchen is a small one, it's a hardworking room and the one that I love most to decorate. A new addition to the kitchen is this two-door cabinet. I had been looking in all of my favorite antique stores for a chippy old cabinet to put in this spot. I wasn't able to find what I was looking for and believe it or not, I found this cabinet on Amazon and I thought it was a perfect match. It matches my kitchen cabinets and it's the exact height that I had been looking for. I've decorated the top with another one of my vintage typewriters. This one is a 1930s Smith & Corona. It was one of the first portable typewriters of its time and I found it here at a local antique store. I also have some coverless books here, a mercury glass lamp that I found on Amazon, and some candles and a little wooden bowl full of vintage buttons. Inside the cabinet, I have some of my Ray Dunn collection. I use my pieces daily, so having them here in the cabinet makes access really easy. I really love having my flour, sugar, and oats here on my island. I use them almost every day. Now, originally I had wanted to get those beautiful bonbon jars, but they really are a small fortune. So instead I ordered these Anchor Hawking glass containers from Walmart and the scoops I got on Amazon and I just love it. Not only is it so useful, but it really looks great too. I've kept my table very simple for the summer. This runner I got at Target along with the Lazy Susan. I just have a little lamb's ear wreath inside with some flowers and it holds our napkins and salt and pepper here for the table. The lamp inside I use as a little night light at night. The place settings are very simple too. I just have a Ray Dunn plate on a small grass placemat. On top of each dish, I have a little wooden house that I found at the Target dollar spot. Every summer, I do sort of a bee theme in my kitchen. I love bees and have always had them throughout my home. Bees are a symbol of good luck and prosperity and I think they're pretty adorable as well. On each side of my stove, I have two tier trays that hold a lot of my bead decor. Now, if you've followed me for a while, you know how much I love those silly marshmallow cups, and I pretty much have hats for them for every season and every holiday. There is no good explanation for it. I just think that they're really adorable. So whenever I am out and I see something small, be related. I always pick it up and add it somewhere here in my kitchen for the summer. I love tear trays. I think they are an easy way to decorate a small space. It keeps all your decor contained and a little less cluttered.
Most of the small signs on these trays and throughout the house I've either picked up on Etsy or made myself using my Cricut. The Cricut is still my absolute favorite crafting tool of all time. I use it every week for something or another around the house. The wreath hanging on the pantry door I made a couple years ago using my Cricut and I look forward to putting it up every year. There is just something about the yellow and black colors together that really represent summer to me. I get a lot of questions about this china cabinet here in my den. This was the very first chalk painting project that I ever did. This is an old Laura Ashley china cabinet that we have had for years. And when I started to lighten up the house, I wanted to chalk paint it with Annie Sloan chalk paint in the color Old White remove some of the doors and you know just change it up a little bit. I was so afraid at first that I was going to ruin this beautiful piece, but I think that it is so beautiful. It is such a great backdrop to my Panero Bordallo collection and family photos, and it has always been one of my favorite things to decorate at the change of every season. All of the baskets in this cabinet I got from Target and the beaded garland I got on Amazon. I will be putting links in the description box down below to all of the different things that I mentioned in today's video. My coffee centerpiece stays basically the same for the majority of the year. I do switch up the arrangement on my galvanized metal lantern here on the coffee table and on the sofa table behind the sectional. I've added some cream hydrangea blooms, some lamb's ear, and along with a big cream and tan buffalo check bow. I also added another one of those wooden houses that I found earlier in the season at Target. Earlier in the season, I had switched out some furniture in this room and added back in my favorite plaid side chairs that I've had for years. I think it added some color and interest to this room that brings in the wreath above the mantle and all the knit throws make this space extra cozy. So thank you all so much for watching my summer decor tour video. Please join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe. And I will see you again soon. Bye. Thinking of